Elizabeth Hartbarger and I'm the director of Compassion Central Ministries here in Gatesville, North Carolina and we are going to show you how simple it is to get free food from this facility Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Hi, how are you today? How are you doing? Come on in and let's get you hooked up with some things you need. Okay. Can I see your valid North Carolina State driving license or ID? Yes, you may. All yes, right. You may. Let's see, where you at? You got here somewhere. Good. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. You got it. This is my driver's license. And you must have a valid North Carolina driving license or ID to qualify to receive free food. That is the only requirement except that you also need to be a Gates County resident. Okay, Alan. Let's take your information. Thank you so much. We're going to get your food in just a moment. This is Garments of Praise. We have a plan here to help people in our community who can't afford to buy clean, quality clothing for themselves, for their children, in their work environment. Maybe they're entering into a new job and they need a whole new wardrobe. Well, it's our plan to drape them in a garment of praise, to bring ease to them in this area of concern in their life by giving them free, quality clothing to get through this seasons and times in their life that are tough and hard to manage. We have a beautiful women's section here where we are able to give professional attire. We have scrubs for medical um, per personnel entering into the medical profession. We have baby clothing. We have men's and children's. We have a big, huge sorting room for all of your donations, so bring what you can. We'll clean it up, sort it out, and we'll redistribute it to our community, and we'll do it for the glory of God. We are attempting to use all that God has given us to usher in a true and genuine knowledge of the Scripture here in our county, and through the goodness of the Lord to usher repentance into the lives of those who come to us. We are in prayer with our recipients. We are going before the throne of grace with them, petitioning the Lord to meet their needs and change their hearts. Hello, I am Akil Ward, the assistant manager of the Compassion Center. Food bank, giving away food, clothing, and accepting people with uh, uh, food. And I enjoy helping people. And I am proud of what I'm doing to help people and to, 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 to just uplift the name of Jesus to him by giving clothes and food to the media. And, and, and it just, it's just wonderful because when people come in, we pray for them. And it goes out nice and happy. And, and, and it makes me feel good knowing that I'm doing something to uplift the name of Jesus to and by uh, uh, clothes and food. And, and, and it's, just, it's just wonderful. We have great relationships with the Department of Social Services here in our county. A division of their agency is called Work First, and they send some of their clients to us for job training and working hours, and we teach them vital people skills that are necessary to be successful in the workforce. And through other great avenues of opportunity that God has opened up for us, we also have a relationship with Purdue Farms in Lewiston where they've donated thousands of pounds of chicken that we give away in our community every single month. Master Cleaners in Suffolk, they donate of quality, dry cleaned and pressed clothing and $10,000 worth this year, just even a few days ago. We have a great relationship with Food Bank of the Albemarle where we purchase a lot of the food we give away in our community at 19 cent a pound. We drive to Elizabeth City two times a month to get the food that is necessary to meet the needs of the people in this community. Also, we have a relationship with Food Lion of Ahoski, where we go two times a week and pick up produce, 
breads, cakes, pastries, beautiful food that we then in turn distribute to our community. I want to talk to you about how you can partner with us to help the residents of Gates County. There is um, prayer. You can always pray. Pray for our recipients. Pray for us to be effective as a ministry, as a food and clothing bank, striving to reach the needs and to meet needs for those who are less fortunate than we are. Another way that you can become involved is through volunteerism. We have two ministries housed in the same facility, and there's always work to do. In the food bank, we have um, shelves to stock and baskets to make and um, refrigerators to keep food rotated, and there's always work that can be done to help our community. In garments of praise, we always need help sorting through clothes, making sure that only the best and the most quality clothing end up on our racks for our recipients. Also, um, we need intercessors, people that will come in and stand in the gap with our customers, with our recipients. They'll come in and they'll usher them into the presence of the Lord and help them feel at ease before God. And Then also, we could use financial partnership. We're running a facility with around, it takes about $765 a month to um, keep us going every single month and we depend on donations from our community to make that happen and we would love it if you would partner with us to help those who are less fortunate in our community who don't have a voice and we're here to be the voice for them to you the bridge to help the broken in Jesus name and now like I said before, I just enjoy doing everything. Everything I do in here, I just enjoy. I do it with a smile. I do it with an open heart. And, and, and just, I just love it. You all should come down and, and see how that I does it. And, and, and it's just, it just wonderful. Just wonderful.